You know what? It's been far too long. Well, actually, it's only been about a month, but let's just pretend it's been far too long. If that makes any sense. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions on this topic down in the comments section. I'm starting to run out of breath saying that line over and over. So I've been playing some games as of recently and by sheer coincidence it happens to be a nice variety of games that vary from different genres. Totally didn't have that planned? Let's just run with that. So what game is the first one that I've been playing as of recent? Well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not the best game. And that golden award goes to, and I use air quotes as I say that, Supremacy MMA. So just what the heck is MMA? I suppose you could say it's a cross between a fighting game and wrestling. Now, every time I think of Supremacy MMA, one word comes to mind, rarity. Because back in my hunting days, when I was collecting for the PS Vita Hardcore, this was a title that, for me personally at least, was the very first one that I was hearing people call rare. Now, it did get, in fact, a normal retail release, but by retail release standards, it seems like they didn't print quite as many of these as they did for other Vita games. I know, when you compare it to the likes of Limited Run Games and, heck, even those promo copies from Nicolas, something like this doesn't seem quite as rare as those. Heck, you could even say this game is in abundance compared to those. But still, it was one of the first of its kind, and one that I was lucky enough to find at GameStop back in the day. As for the game itself, uh, it's okay I guess. One thing that I do give it big kudos for is that unlike other MMA games out there, this one is more arcade style like, so it's a little bit more pick up and play in that aspect. It doesn't have as much of a steep learning curve. And the bruising and damage that you take in this, ah, it really does feel like you're feeling some of the pain. It'll more than likely make you cringe, but in a good way, unlike this channel. As for everything else, I don't know something about the gameplay just felt a little bit on the bland side to me. Seems like you spent a lot of time just waiting to counter and maneuver your enemy's attacks rather than actually attacking yourself. Which I guess goes without saying for MMA games, but I don't know, something about this I just feel like it could have been better. But if you are looking for a more arcade style MMA game, well this is pretty much the only one on Vita. Thank you for all you have done for this video, MMA. Next up, Chasm. Ah, now we're talking. And thankfully, the protagonist's name isn't Chasm. I guess it's no secret at this point that, well, we have quite a lot of Metroidvania games for the Vita. Too many to even count, to be quite honest. But this is one of the better ones. Honestly, I put it on the same level as such games as Axiom Verge. Explore the depths below a remote mountain in this procedurally generated adventure platformer, taking inspiration from hack and slash dungeon crawlers and Metroidvania style platformers. Chasm will immerse you in a fantasy world full of exciting treasure, deadly enemies, and abundant secrets. And trust me, this game is really, really big, along with some very huge and challenging bosses. And hey, what can I say? It's Metroidvania. That's awesome. And the art style to it even has a tad bit of an anime flair appeal about it. At least as far as, you know, 2D pixelation goes. You may have to squint, but it's definitely there. Fun fact here, this game was released exclusively physical on PlayAsia. So we've had a pseudo fighting game thus far, then a Metroidvania type of experience, and now we're going to do some racing. Some kart racing, that is. Or I'm not sure if these are carts, but we're going to do some racing. This be Ben 10 Galactic Racing, and it probably come as no surprise that I have no clue what Ben 10 is even all about. I just know it's like about some guy that can transform into different aliens or something like that. Nor do I remember any actual racing done in the cartoon, but I guess if you've always wanted to do that in the universe, then this, this one's for you. As far as its actual gameplay goes, this is where I sort of had an issue here. Obviously, yes, it wants to be a kart racer, much like Mario Kart, Crash Racing, and so forth. You get the picture with this. You get power-ups, boost pads, and you can drift. But in there lies the problem for me. While the races can be fun on their own, the game really emphasizes for you to use that drifting system. You will be doing it a lot in this game. And that's because that is how you activate your 
defense maneuvers, which you will definitely need because the other racers will be attacking you on the regular. And I felt like there was much more emphasis on that than there was on the actual racing. So I would say that if you are looking for a racing game on the PS Vita, this one might keep you busy for a couple of hours or so, but if you really want a fantastic experience, I'd recommend just picking up Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. True, there is drifting in that game, but they don't force you to do it like every second. Okay now, just to recap, we have done fighting, we have done d Metroidvania-ing, if that's a word, and we have done kart racing slash alien racing, or however you want to say it. What genre could possibly be next? Well, how does an Arkanoid clone sound to you? Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. This is Crash Block 5, or Block Crash 5, I don't know. And as you can tell, it's an import PS Vita game, which is one of the reasons why I don't know what the title is. You know me, I absolutely adore my PS Vita imports. Now for those not familiar with the whole Arkanoid term, it's pretty much uh, Pong. Kinda, sorta, but not really. You have your standard Pong-like paddle and ball, but unlike that game, you don't have to face off against another paddle and ball. What you have to do is break all of the blocks with the ball by bouncing it back and forth and depending on how far you are into the level various conditions apply such as blocks that take multiple hits to break or that will contain power-ups and such or sometimes you will get multiple balls <laughs> Yeah. Now, when you first look at this, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, pff, this is just a kid's game. But no, trust me, this game will really test your reflexes and can get quite difficult, especially in the later levels. Like, as in pull your hair out difficult. And for some weird reason, it has an anime theme to it and a Hello Kitty theme. And I don't really understand why. And the anime characters look like they come from various crossovers of other series. I don't get what's going on here, but you have a paddle and ball and hey, that's good enough for me. Highly recommend this one. Hope you like the color pink though. So out of today's games, Chasm and Block Crash 5 were completely awesome. The other two, eh, not so much. But hey, do you disagree with that analogy? Did you like those other two games? Did you hate the two that I liked maybe? I would love to hear your opinion down in that comment section thing. Unless it disagrees with mine because I'm biased. And as always fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. A huge thank you and shout out to all the wonderfully generous backers for this channel who help make this content possible, including Dr. Super Artie, Ricardo Martinez, Donut Valley, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Azumara, 1488 Dental, Saki Balam, Smug Wolf, Matt Hargit, Mazgus, Tasha Monti, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermesio, Burrs and Mystery, Kayonko, Hector Gonzalez, Jamie, Crazy Cat, Colossus, Michael O'Connor, Robert Sylvester, Rizal Pliskin, VG Legends, Alan Iwazuk, Shin Snake, Joseph Raismick, Frayden, Zacredo, Robert Johnson, Bushin Ryu Cat, Milk Sama, New Arashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, V Mystery, Makis Blob, Larry Anderson, H Hitter, Jelly, Lori Sweeney, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, Rodrigo Vera, Aaron Swanson, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, Joshua Williams, Clayton Malarkey, BMF, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Per Sterner, Erock, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, David Ray, Wendy K, Hemdall Imbert, and Gutter Drums. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. So two of these games were awesome, the other two, not really. Oh, I just got a thought here. Supremacy MMA in a go-kart. Now that is a frightening idea.